In 2021, Alberta had 416 biotechnology companies. That's tremendous growth over the last decade, but it's still just the beginning. When I was young, I loved science. I always thought I was going to be a physician or work in research. I had a chance to work for a number of different labs over the course of each summer. And then I had a chance to work for CBC Radio as a science reporter. And I had an opportunity basically to reach out to different scientists. And I loved that job. And I went back to the bench the next year and I realized that it was quite, <laughs> it was quite lonely actually to be at the bench. I realized that I really love talking to people. So I finished my genetics degree and then went straight into an after degree in accounting and finance. And that's how I became a CPA. When I first started working as a CPA, a pharma company basically told us that Alberta was a flyover zone. It was a punch in the gut, and I didn't want to move. <laughs> my parents are here, my kids are here. It became a bit of a personal mission for me to try to make sure that people knew that there was an opportunity here that they were missing. Science has an ability to change the world, but in order for those discoveries to really make it to people, they need to be commercialized. And that is where you bring in CPAs and their experience in business. Today, I work as the Chief Business Officer of Entos Pharmaceuticals. The company has grown from eight people when I first started to over 60 people in three countries. There's tremendous growth, and of course, our headquarters is in Alberta, Canada, and we're very proud of that. And more importantly than that, we're seeing our technologies start to go through the clinic, and that's the real impact. It's the opportunity to help patients cure their diseases and make an impact in the quality of their life.